high brain tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a brand new hot off the presses release rolling out to the Canary channel this week. Windows 11 preview build 25330, which Microsoft rolled out on the 30th of March. So just to have a quick look as to what is new in the Canary channel for this week and having a look at some of those changes and improvements. Now the first, according to Microsoft, is the settings page for wheel devices. Um, such as the Surface Dial has been updated to better match the Windows 11 design principles. And um, that's according to this screenshot from the release notes. And then moving on, um, there's a couple of updates for the Microsoft Store for the Canary Channel um, this week. And the first of three is that you can now install free apps and games from the search results. And they've introduced a new way to um, install those games where hovering over a free a product on the search results page opens a new expanded card experience where you can find a install button and according to Microsoft this will trigger the installation without having to navigate into the product page so that could be quite handy um, if you are using the Microsoft Store. And then the second um, improvement and change for the Microsoft Store is that um, there's a new design when purchasing apps and games. And um, as we can see, the purchase dialogues uh, style now, according to Microsoft, better matches that of Windows 11 to bring a better checkout experience. And then the third and final update for Microsoft Store in the Canary channel for this week, um, there's a new UX for in-app ratings dialogue where Microsoft say they've updated uh, the in-app ratings experience to be a lot faster. And that's where obviously you can rate from within the app or game. So those are the three updates for the Microsoft Store for this week in the Canary Channel. And then just to do a couple of quick mentions, um, um, there's a settings improvement where um, Microsoft says that pressing the print screen key will now open the snipping tool by default, which I actually think um, would be a nice um, feature if and when it does roll out to the stable version. And this can be turned off via the settings accessibility keyboard. So um, print screen will now open the snipping tool in the Canary channel. And then just to mention the next, it's regarding the Windows Sandbox. And um, Microsoft says that if you have changed your primary mouse button under settings, Bluetooth and devices, mouse Windows Sandbox will now follow that setting. And then um, when encrypting a drive using BitLocker, you can now minimize the encryption progress dialog. And then um, the last mention uh, for today's video, you can now uninstall the camera app if you need to. And I think that would be a nice move in the right direction if Microsoft did make that available in the stable version one day. Because currently there is no option, um, default option to uninstall the camera app in the stable version. So in the Canary channel, you can now un uninstall that camera app. So that's it. That's more or less what's hot off the presses um, this week. In the latest Canary Channel build for the Insiders, build 25330. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.